Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day of the Markport brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Monday and it's December 5th. Hope you guys had a great weekend here uh, as we kind of approach, uh, we're actually in the middle of the holiday season here. We do got a couple economic news releases scheduled for today. Um, we have the Market Services PMI. This is the final revision. So uh, for the month of November, we had a 54.8 in the previous reporting. So anything above 50 is considered expansion and it, it, it fell a little bit by uh, 0.2% to 50 or 0.2 point to 54.6 here. Now, some other service uh, one is ISM. So, we got the market services PMI and we got the ISM non manufacturing service index or ISM services index, some people may call it. So, again, uh, anything about 50 is considered expansion. So, we had a 54.8 just like the market services PMI. Uh, forecast was 55.5 for the ISM and it came in a little higher at 57.2. So, we got two different. Uh, indexes uh, all both on the services but reflecting different um, areas or different uh, directions here so we had uh, market services PMI going down 0.2 but we had uh, ISM non manufacturing going up quite a bit here about 2.6 or 2.4 rather uh, so obviously uh, people might like the ISM <laughs> number a little bit better today here uh, let's jump into the uh, headline news the stock markets up uh, Dow again is reaching new highs uh, a lot of it is due to a rally in oil prices. The oil price per barrel now is about $52. And that's kind of superseding the, uh, the uh, if you listen to me last week, uh, superseding what the vote in Italy, uh, it kind of came into expectations. The referendum that was uh, put up yesterday uh, was voted down. And as a result, the uh, prime minister is going to be stepping down as a result. Now, this was all expected because basically the, what it was viewed as is anti the whole attitude globally this anti-establishment as what they're kind of terming it from the brexit to the trump's vote and now italy uh is basically saying that uh this could set them up potentially to be leaving uh the eu uh so this would be kind of curious especially with um the kind of mess that they're in you know the eu uh is almost uh the euro is almost about the same as that of the dollar now uh value um uh, but Italian banks are having a very difficult time right now, uh, and they do have high unemployment in Italy. And, of course, as we mentioned before, the debt is uh, very high over there with high premiums that they're having to pay. So uh, it remains to be seen. It's possible this could set the stage for them to kind of break apart from the EU, and you may see, again, more countries doing the same. So the EU, you may be on the verge of seeing the EU uh, kind of breaking up as it, Britain... Uh, started the process and you may see other countries kind of break up or uh, also partake in the same thing uh, we do got a few fed members speaking today uh dudley spoke up that he basically said that he's in favor of um raising a, a gradual rate increases uh we got evans already spoke so far this morning basically said that we might be on the cusp of uh rate hikes so basically saying that we could see more uh more see the rate hikes more frequently now uh, as we're kind of approaching the numbers that they're comfortable with uh, for that. So again, next week we're going to have the uh, FOMC meeting in next week. So it is highly expected the Fed Funds Futures, which is basically the index that kind of, uh, kind of like a, a wager as to when, uh, if the, uh, the odds of the Fed going to raise rates is almost 100%. So basically everybody is all in favor of agree that the Fed will raise rates by a quarter percent. Now, what they'll probably look at next week is the dot plot uh, map and kind of get a gauge as to the Fed members' um, idea of how much and how frequent uh, the uh, rate hikes would be in 2017. So, again, that could come up again by 2000, but it could be come up as soon as March, uh, maybe, if, it, if they feel that comfortable where the economy's moving that strong where they could potentially have more rate hikes. So uh, we'll kind of wait and see what their reaction might be in that uh, regards. So here's a look at the uh, bond market. And right now, as a result, because the money's coming out of the mortgage-backed securities going into the stock market, we're down about 12 basis points. Uh, right, currently, we're about 12 basis points from where we left off on Friday. So we had a nice little rally. We did pull back a little bit from the highs, but and so just below the... Um, 10-day moving average, and but just above the uh, floor of support here where we've been kind of uh, dropping below here. We were obviously lower earlier today, but right now we're selling just above here at the top of the uh, floor of support here. 
All right, so rates are a little bit higher than when we left off on Friday, uh, but again, we'll kind of wait and see how the um, market could quickly react after you know the whole Italian referendum. Uh, they may kind of go back to focusing on that after uh, oil prices, um, you know, the, the rally. So anyways, folks, if you guys want to continue uh, receiving uh, updates from me, just go, stop by Twitter. I do post updates throughout the day. And um, thanks for, for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.